You said LiDAR came into the game early on, and it's really the primary driver of autonomous vehicles today as a sensor. So how important is the role of LiDAR in the sensor suite in the near term? So I think it's, I think it's essential. You know, I believe, but I also believe the cameras are essential and I believe the radar is essential. I think that you, you really need to use the composition of data from, from these different sensors if you want the thing to, to really be robust. The question I want to ask, let's see if we can untangle it, is uh, what are your thoughts on the uh, Elon Musk provocative statement that LiDAR is a crutch, that uh, is a kind of, um, I guess, growing pains yeah. And that much of the perception task can be done with cameras. So I think it is undeniable that people walk around without, you know, lasers in their foreheads, uh, and they can get into vehicles and drive them. And and so there's an existence proof that you can drive using, you know, passive vision. No doubt, can't argue with that in terms of sensors. Yeah. So yeah, there's proof in terms that- of sensors, right? So like, there's there's an example that you know we all go do it, uh, many of us every day. In terms of uh, lidar being a crutch, sure, but <laughs> but you know in the same way that uh, you know the combustion engine was a crutch on the path to an electric vehicle, in the same way that you know any technology ultimately gets replaced by some superior technology in the future. Uh, and really what the way that I look at this is that the way we get around on the ground, the way that we use transportation is broken. Um, mm. And that we have, you know, this, this, you know, what was, I think the number I saw this morning, 37,000 Americans killed uh, last year on our roads. And that's just not acceptable. And so tech, any technology that we can bring to bear that accelerates the this techno you know self driving technology coming to market and saving lives is technology we should be using, and it feels just arbitrary to say, well, you know, I'm I'm not okay with using lasers because that's whatever, but I am okay with using an eight megapixel camera or a sixteen megapixel camera. You know, like it's just these are just bits of technology, and we should be taking the best technology from the tool bin that allows us to go and you know and solve a problem the question i often talk to uh, well obviously you do as well to uh sort of automotive companies and you know if, if there's one word that comes up more often than anything it's cost and and uh trying yeah. to drive costs down so while it's it's true that it's um uh, it's a tragic number the thirty-seven thousand. the the question is what and I'm not the one asking this question because I hate this question, but yeah. we have we want to find the cheapest sensor suite that uh, that creates a safe vehicle. So yep. in that uh, uncomfortable trade-off, do you foresee lidar uh, coming down in cost in the future, or do you see a day where level four autonomy is possible without lidar? I see both of those, but it's really a matter of time. And I, and I think really maybe the I would talk to the question you asked about, you know, the cheapest sensor. Yeah. I don't think that's actually what you want. What you want is a sensor suite that is economically viable. And then after that, everything is about margin and driving cost out of the system. Uh, what you also want is a sensor suite that works. Right. And so it's great to tell a story about... Um, how you know how it'd be better to have a self-driving system with a fifty dollars sensor instead of a you know a five hundred dollars sensor. But if the five hundred dollars sensor makes it work and the fifty dollars sensor doesn't work, you know who cares? So long as you, you can actually uh, you know have an economic op- you know there's an economic opportunity there, and the economic opportunity is important because that's how you actually have a sustainable business and and that's how you can actually see this come to scale and 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 be out in the world. And so when I look at lidar I see a technology that has no underlying fundamentally you know expense to it, fundamental expense to it. It's it's going to be more expensive than uh, an imager because you know CMOS processes or or you know fab processes are are dramatically more scalable than mechanical processes. 
but we still should be able to drive costs down substantially on that side. Uh, and then I also do think that it, with the right business model, you can absorb more, you know, certainly more cost on the bill of materials. Yeah, if the census suite works, extra value is provided, thereby you don't need to drive costs down to zero. It's the basic economics.